Hi there. If you're watching this video, you're interested in either buying an accordion for the first time or you might just want some general knowledge about what makes the different prices of various instruments. Um, today I'll be talking about piano accordions like this one. And these are recognizable because they have a piano keyboard on one side and a series of buttons on the other side. In contrast, you could also have a button accordion, uh, which is a bit more popular in Europe, which will have buttons on both sides and can be in various uh, layouts. Um, piano keyboards are nice because they're, they're generally standardized. A uh, full-size one has 41 keys total as a standard. And on the left side, you have 120 buttons. Um, the buttons are arranged in six rows. Two of them are bass or downbeats, and four of them are chords, major, minor, seventh, and diminished. And among there, you have 20 different columns, which represent different pitches. Now, there's uh, a few reasons why in the United States you might be interested in learning the piano accordion. One is that they're generally easier to find, and I'd say about 90% of the accordions in the United States are piano accordions. Um, another big advantage is that if you're a piano player, the piano side is exactly the same as what you're used to, um, except that it's a little different in that it's not by strings, it actually controls a series of reeds. So when you push down on a button, you're actually letting air go through a reed almost like a harmonica, um, but the difference is basically that you have sustain instead of, um, uh, I guess, a decay as in a piano string. Now, uh, the main focus of this video is to talk about why you might see some different pricing for accordions and what to look for. Um, I'd say the first thing you want to do when you're looking for an accordion is generally find one that is suitable for what you're going to be doing and also your size. Um, so typically one thing you can do is measure the keyboard length, so kind of from white key to white key. Um, generally men's size is about 18 or 19 inches, um, somewhere in that range. And also a smaller one, you can compare with one like this, which would be considered uh, a ladies or compact size, could be maybe 15 or 16 inches, and then 17 might be kind of a crossover between the two. Um, so in terms of size, that's kind of the, the, the metric used to find out the, the length. Um, the other thing is you might even see ones that have smaller keyboards with less keys or maybe the keys are bigger or smaller um, to, to accommodate a certain size. Also on the left hand, generally the smallest accordion will have maybe 8 or 12 buttons. Uh, the standard size, which is full, has 120 uh, in the layout that I mentioned before. Now that's kind of the first thing to look for. Um, number two is you want one that essentially can play what you're interested in, in in the type of music you're playing. So if you notice here, there's a number of selectors that will give you different sounds. And basically you, you generally can have a low read. You can have a middle read. Also a high read or piccolo read. And notice I was playing the same keys each time. Uh, basically these reads are offset um, so that you can get different sounds and almost you can go above or below octaves. So even though you're limited by this keyboard, you can change the sound to actually get some more out of it. Of course you can also do combinations. Um, sometimes you have two middle reads which create more of a a uh, folky sound, or you can basically use all of your reeds together. So, generally, 
in terms of pricing, the more um, types of reads you have, which generally is a function of, of how many of these buttons you have, more or less, um, so the more the more expensive it will be. Um, generally, the, the entry level accordions will have two sets of reads, a high and a low, and you can also have both. Um, and the more expensive ones will have four read sets, so you can have a combination of low, two mediums, and a high. On the left hand, generally, um, you can select, there's a, there's a total of four or five sets of reads here, and when you play the bass or the chords, you'll use some combination of those. Um, generally, that doesn't affect the pricing so much as, as how many you can select between, so kind of what selectors you have. So for instance, or I can pick a different one, or a lower one. So that's number two. And number three, um, you really want to have tight bellows. So notice when I'm not holding anything, they really don't open very much. Um, some accordions, if you try them out, you'll notice that they may, I'm, I'm going to push an air button to release the air, but if you hold them open, they might actually just kind of open naturally like this. Um, you generally want to stay away from those because unless you're going to repair it, um, it's going to affect your play considerably. And generally, loss of control is very bad, especially for beginners, because you're, you're not going to develop good habits. Um, number four is really, um, you know, you want to make sure that all of the, the buttons are nice and springy, that they work. Um, that they don't stick. Basically, you can you can check kind of the the reads should be the same in both directions. Um, you can check basically all of those by kind of um, you know moving the bellows to find out uh, whether the reads are consistent in and out. There's actually two 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 reads for both the you know one for the in and one for the out. Um, which is actually a, an innovation because previously the diatonic accordions, um, like in a bandonian, will play a different sound for out or in. So in modern accordions, you have two reeds that actually have one designated for out and one for in. Um, same thing with the buttons on the left side. Make sure that they're um, generally that they're in good springy order. That they come up, they don't stick down, that they're not bent. And other things to look for are kind of the straps. You want straps that are not going to break. Sometimes leather straps become very brittle and can break. Um, some nylon straps are pretty good. Um, but generally, that's something that you can replace. Um, same thing with the hand strap. But again, it will cost you money if, if you need to replace it. And lastly, um, really the only other thing to think about in terms of pricing and this can vary greatly, is the reputation of the manufacturer. So among the best, you might have heard of Honor, um, Bell, Scandali. Um, these are the more well-known brands. Sometimes you also see some brands that are less well-known, but can still be good quality. Um, then also, a lot of the newer accordions are actually imported from China. Um, and generally, um, they, they may be cheaper, so it's good that you can get a new accordion, but they may not have the same sound quality as, uh, as um, Italian or, or German type accordion. So those are the main things I wanted to cover. Um, I hope you enjoy your search, and you're welcome to look at my website, which is www.libertybellows.com. I'm located in Philadelphia and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.